Okay, first off, I apologize for not getting another episode of this Q&A out sooner. I've been very busy as of late with my school musical A Christmas Carol, so I've had to focus primarily on my major projects in order to get them out somewhat regularly. But enough of that, let's start part 6. Maverick Hunter 75 asks, Have you ever played any of the Crash Bandicoot games? Oh yes, I have. I'm not too big a fan of Crash Bandicoot personally, but I still enjoy the games quite a bit. I've played the original, Cortex Strikes Back, Warped, Wrath of Cortex, Crash of the Titans, and Crash Bash. Of all of them, my favorite is probably Wrath of Cortex, with Warped somewhat close behind. What inspired you to make Countdowns in the first place? Well, I don't remember exactly how I found out about this community, but I do remember that some of the first Countdown makers I subscribed to were Josh and Alex. Alex is in college, though, and Josh is in the Marines, so I never really felt like I could be one of them. Keep in mind that I was 14 at the time, so I felt like this was just something for people who were a lot older than I was. But then I came across a guy who goes by the name of Idianobo, and saw that he was the same age as me. After that, I knew if he could do it, I could do it. Top 10 Worst Minigames happened, and you can guess the rest from there. Who is your favorite video game character? Jeez, that's a tough one, but... I have to go with Solid Snake. Yes, it's a safe answer, but at least it's a good one. He's courageous, dependable, loyal, awesome. He's an incredible warrior, an incredible fighter. And he actually is a bit of a deep character, especially in Metal Gear Solid 4. He's just really well developed and yet still manages to be masculine and awesome. Combination that you don't often see, it's usually one or the other. Cake? The cake is a lie! TMC Cookie, or Cookie, or however you pronounce it, asks, Have you played Jade Empire? Or, uh, Jade Empire? Um, no. Actually, I've never even heard of it before. I'll look into it. What is your favorite ghost type? Giratina, hands down. I love its concept to death. Its design is epic. It's a freaking behemoth on the battlefield. Also, I just love finding the little bits of symbolism associated with it. If you're not sure what I'm already talking about, it's the devil. DEVIL! What is your favorite Mario game? Um, To be honest, I'd probably have to go with Super Paper Mario. It's got the presentation and storyline that comes with the Mario RPG, but it's also got all the creative platforming that made Mario so great in the first place. Also, props for getting to play as Bowser. I know Mario RPG did it too, but he was a lot better in this one. Favorite musical? Easily, Les Miserables. Again, it's a safe answer, but for good reason. I just love how it manages to encompass such a near endless array of emotion. One moment you're laughing your head off, and the next you're bawling your eyes out. It really is a roller coaster of emotion, which is why I love it so much. In fact, it's the same reason why I love Mystery Dungeon 2 so much. Favorite Pixar movie? have to go with Finding Nemo on this one. To be honest, it's the Nita King effect. I honestly have no clue why I love this movie so much, but it really is my favorite animated film of all time. The visuals are gorgeous, the characters are lovable, and the plot is actually pretty dark, but it goes about this surprisingly subtly. Really, I love this movie, and I personally feel that it gets really overlooked among the rest of Pixar's work. Not quite as overlooked as A Bug's Life, but still, it deserves more praise. Grayson Heaton asks, Would you rather control water, fire, earth, or air? Actually, I think I already answered this in a previous part, but water. Um, as you've seen in the Dark Puppet Master of Avatar The Last Airbender, it is... There are so many things that you can do with water. Whereas fire, you know, poof, there's fire. Earth, rup, there's some earth. Air, well yeah, there's air. But water can be used to control nearly anything. 
So that's why I would choose that one. Mario or Sonic? As a character, Sonic. In terms of the game's Mario. If that makes any sense. Do you like Arcanine? Actually, he is one of my favorite fire types. Um, he's got a really powerful move set. He's a uh, he's got a really cool design, especially for Gen One, and um, yeah, he's actually pretty versatile for a fire type. All right then, Dark Angel four hundred twenty three thousand. <laughs> it's over nine thousand. Asks. What do you think of Jinx? Personally, I just shrug Jinx off. I don't really like it, but I don't dislike it either. But I suppose what you're really asking is do I think Jinx is racist? And no. Well, I personally think that Zekrom and Reshiram might have been somewhat... I don't know. Although I guess what you're really asking is, do I think Jinx is racist? Um, no. I really don't think Pokemon will be racist. It's not based on racist things. And yes, I did comment on that a little bit in Top 10 Legendary Pokemon, how Zekrom was made to look masculine and intimidating when Reshiram, the white one, was made to look feminine and airy. But, really... Even that, that was really just a joke. It wasn't supposed to be taken seriously. Why do you like Avatar The Last Airbender, and who is your favorite character of the show? I like Avatar The Last Airbender for a number of reasons. Um, the storyline is there. It's a really great epic. Um, um, I really like the animation, especially during the fight sequences. Um, it's really good, it's really smooth, and a lot of the bending makes for some really cool visuals. Um, I absolutely adore the characters. Even Katara. Katara, I mean... I don't really like Katara that much. I mean, she is pretty whiny. But every other character I absolutely adore in the show. Uh, but my favorite of all of them is Azula. Yes, she is a crazy psychopath, but that's why I love her. Not like love, but mean like love the character. Moving on! SoffleWee001 asks... Uh, least favorite to favorite, Salamence, Metagross, Tyranitar. Actually, it's in that exact order that you gave me. Salamence, third. Um, no particular reason, just not a lot of personality. And then, Metagross. He has a cool design, supercomputer abilities. That's really cool. But Tyranitar. First of all, I love dark types, you all know that. Second of all, he's just got a really cool design. And third of all, I love the transition from Pupitar to Tyranitar. It is just epic. Uh, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, or Psychic? Okay, looking purely at logistics, after a bit of research, Flamethrower and Thunderbolts have the same exact properties with 15 PP, 95 power, and 100% accuracy. Ice Beam only has 10 PP, and Psychic has 10 PP and only 90 power. So looking just at that, Flamethrower and Thunderbolt are essentially the same attack. But, Flamethrower has a chance of burn, so I'd have to go with Flamethrower. Alright, least favorite to favorite, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, well, Sonic Labyrinth, Sonic R, Sonic 06, Sonic Colors, or Sonic Generations. Okay, well I haven't played Labyrinth or R, so we can throw those right out the window. Um, least favorite, Sonic 2. <gasps> oh my gosh, you just said that Sonic 2 is uh, the worst, the, the, the troll of all the law. Shut up. It's just an opinion. 
And then uh, after that would be Sonic 06. <gasps> he put Sonic 06 over Sonic 2. Shut up. Okay, and then Sonic 1, Generations, and Colors. However, my favorite Sonic game of all time is none of these, and it is in fact Sonic Unleashed. <gasps> he put Sonic Unleashed over Sonic 2. Shut up. Do you care for hockey? Eh, not really a follower. I mean, it's a good sport. I do like watching it, but yeah, I don't really follow it. And that's it for Park 6. And let me just say right now that the voting for the contest is going really well. You all, you guys have made a ton of really interesting suggestions, and I can't wait to try some of them out. Catch you guys next time.